My name is Bradley Marshall, my game is Tags Wolfskin, and I'm from the United Kingdom, and I'm 22 years old. I've been playing Call of Duty for the first time, um, it was about 11 years ago now, on um, COD 4. My, uh, my dad played it, and that's how um, I mainly got into it. And then Professional was around three years ago, um, on Infinite Warfare. My, my brother had um, like a team, he was already at Costas Pro, and um, he gave me an opportunity. To this day, I will never forget it. It's the biggest thing I've ever done. My personal favourite Call of Duty would have to be Modern Warfare 2. Mainly uh, like, um, public matches where you, you, you could play it 24-7 and you'd never ever get bored of it. Like You could just play it, play it, play it non-stop. I'm not sure if that was because I was young or it's like, but I'm pretty sure that that game I'd just always have fun playing it. All time gun, I'd have to say the ACR of Modern Warfare 2. After that, or I want to say, I would say the MV4 on Infinite Warfare because that's when uh, that's when I started making a name for myself. So I'd probably say that one. I'd say the teams that are just as good as us. I'd say um, I'd say the Atlanta team, they're really good, and um, also the Dallas team, they're really good. There's a lot of teams that people on paper thought would be the best, and it's turned out that they're not so good. So I don't know. It's going to be you're going to see some interesting results. It's always room to improve, but. Um, I'd say at the start of the game, we didn't have a, we never practiced that much because of um, visa issues. So we um, fell behind like a lot on practice. And like since after Christmas, this is the only time we really got to play like like every day, every day. So as it's looking good, like don't get me wrong, like we look like one of the best, but it's definitely room for improvement. And playing Paris is um, always gonna be a fun one because Zach, you know, I was I was close to him, I can't lie to you, and Den stands is a good guy, so that should be um, a good series, one that I can't lose. So yeah, that should be fun. So every day, when, on, when the season starts, you, I can try and get myself in a, like an early routine. And because obviously in a game, more people think that um, you wake up at stupid o'clock. But um, I try to get up around 10 and um, I get, like, I'll, I'll, I'll have food and stuff, have a shower, and then I'll hop on at around half 11, 12. And I'll just play public matches, like just by myself. And then we start scrims at two. You'll be playing like eight, nine, ten hours a day. Like that's just scrims alone. Like I'll sit in a call with them five, like my teammates and coaches for like eight, nine, ten hours a day. But then that's not including what I do in my own time. Like after we scrims, because I live here, there's not much for me to do. I go and say that, but I don't know the area well. All I know to do is just like just play the game. So I just I just play it by myself after. So I do put some hours in. Um, the fans in the UK, I can just thank you all for um, supporting, especially me and my brother. And um, again, I can thank you um, all enough.